Hey, we're here with Robert Traharn Jones, who uh, is somewhat the voice of rowing of late. Uh, when you hear the online uh, webcast, you'll be hearing Robert's voice in at least half the races, where he splits it with other folks. Uh, junior Worlds, World Cups, everything. So once you hear him speak, you'll, ha you'll probably know who you're talking to. Uh, he also writes for the Irish Independent and is uh, stalwart rowing folks in uh, Leander and in British rowing. Uh, we're interested in what it takes to prepare to cover on the spot and on the fly a regatta tomorrow, six minute centers all day. What do you do as you prep for this regatta? It's a lot of hard work, Ed, beforehand. We've got 1,200 athletes from 68 nations. It's the biggest world championships that has ever been staged. Oh, wow. And I think that registers the importance of the event before uh, the Olympics next year. Uh, so, uh, well, obviously we've got the major countries here, but we've also got many uh, minor developing rowing nations here who simply come here for the race experience because they're not looking to qualify necessarily, but they're looking for race experience leading up to... Um, their own continental qualifying regattas in the months to come. So what I do is I get the entry list very early from FITA HQ. Uh, I work very closely with my colleagues there, get the entry lists, and I've been keeping my own database. I don't rely on the online one. So I've got uh, all the records of all the athletes. I've got a vast database. I think there's oh. about 19,000 lines in this Excel spreadsheet. Jeez. Uh, and so I pull down the entry lists in a format that I can easily assimilate and then I just pull down all 1,200 uh, athlete pedigrees. Now, that's a lot of work for this, so I've been fortunate to be able to rely on my colleagues, uh, Marcus Binder from Switzerland and Sebastian Franke from Germany, because Marcus is going to be doing the, uh, the launch commentary with me this week, uh, and Sebastian is going to come along later in the week, and he's going to be doing the live video streaming uh, out on the FISA website, worldrowing.com. Uh, and so between us we've been able to share that workload and right now with uh, a day to go I'm just putting all that information together and uh, seeing what we come up with but hopefully it's going to be a whole chunk of information that all of us commentators can rely on and just pull out the salient features of every athlete in every crew in every race literally as we go back up to the start for the next race so relying on what's in here as well as what's on the, the sheet we hope to, be, hope to be able to churn that out and uh, we're fairly experienced in these matters, and so it's uh, it's sort of switch on to auto drive after yeah. that. Uh, have you ever been completely caught off guard by an athlete out in front? Didn't know them, didn't yeah, know how to say their name? The, yeah, the, the really interesting bit is when uh, on the media start list we've got crew one at the top of the sheet, we've got crew six at the bottom, uh, and that's great if we're on the side of the course that means that lane one is over there and lane six yeah. is here. But of course if it's the other way around like it is out here on Lake Bled, uh, we have to sort of cut our heads in half yeah. uh, because lane one is here and six is over there. Reading top to bottom. And uh, I can remember commentating on the lake at Banyoles, the Olympic rowing lake from the 92 Barcelona. And I've commentated there uh, <coughs> a couple of times now. And I've got a race coming towards me. And I've got my race sheet here. And the colors coming towards me bear no resemblance to the the colors of the crews that I'm expecting to come down towards me and I suddenly realized no it's because I haven't cut my head in half and, I, and they're the wrong way around yeah, so yeah. for a split second I'm completely lost yeah. and that is not a nice place to be. Is it, a, is it a good <laughs> idea to make it up then if you're in this situation? No, you, you can't blag it. Um, yeah. <laughs> you can well you, you can get away with a little bit of making up uh, if, if I'm going back up for the next race because we do race and race about and they might bring me in from the tower and the uh, I'm not yet with the race, I'll make up the story so far because I can see them coming sure. towards me. I've got a rough idea of the way it's been happening. Mm -hmm. And then by the time they're level with me and we can turn and go with the race, then I'm up and running with that race. Right. But uh, there's so much video around now uh, that uh, you, you can no longer cheat in the way yeah. that you used to be able to. <laughs> <and sort of laughs> All right, well, thanks for talking to us. Appreciate it and have a great regatta. That's a great pleasure, Ed. Thanks yeah. very much.